Let's alter the initial patterns after the measurements of the client. I printed out the patterns and the automatic table with all calculated alterations. Despite the closeness of the measurements of the client and the initial patterns, there are quite interesting and significant alterations. Let's analyze them. Before making changes into the initial patterns, I would like to give you a piece of advice. The central piece of the corset front is recommended to be cut open. As a rule, we cut the central piece lined for better accuracy, the duplicated upper layer with glued lining. If duplicated fabric is cut folded, there is deformation due to the fabric thickness, and the central piece is cut with an error. To avoid errors, I suggest cutting the central piece open. For ease of study, you can open the table with the measurements for my client. And then, after my full explanation, enter your client's measurements to the table and change the initial pattern for her. Your task at this stage is to understand and feel the logic of the pattern alteration. Therefore, carefully monitor my actions. Try to understand all my explanations, and then the pattern alteration to any size will not be difficult for you. So, we see in the table that I should increase the central front piece by 0.5 centimeters on both sides according to the calculation of the column alteration in front center. In other words, I need to enlarge the pattern of the central front piece by one centimeter. To implement this change, I cut the central front pattern along the vertical center line, glue a paper strip, and move two halves apart by one centimeter. Now, look carefully that I move the corner of the front piece to the center line and get to it with smooth lines to keep the shape and configuration of the cup. Thus, I restore this corner at the same initial level. It is a very frequent mistake when the initial lines are extended upward during the enlargement of the front piece. In this case, the corner of the central piece is shifted much higher. So, the corner of the central cup piece should also be altered, which is often forgotten as a rule, and it leads to the error. It is more convenient to leave the upper corner of the central front piece at the same level, especially when we have minor alterations as in our case. I should make similar alterations on the central cup piece. I need to enlarge this piece in half size. That is, I need to shift its central line by 0.5 centimeters. I draw the horizontal lines through the start and end point of its center line. Shift this line by 0.5 centimeters and smoothly elongate upward. The seam allowance line on the central piece of the cup is also shifted by 0.5 centimeters toward the center. We also need to shift the seam allowance line by 0.5 centimeters on the central front piece of the corset. Try to keep the shape of the piece. There is one more piece on the central cup piece. 
It is the pattern without seam allowances. I will use it to cut the internal layers of the cup from padding polyester, neoprene, or lingerie foam, i.e. any available material. This is the inner side of the soft cup. Don't forget that we need to alter this pattern as well. I shifted its central cut by 0.5 centimeters. However, both patterns will get the final shape when I finalize the length and shape of the corset neckline. Now, let's check the alterations in the side seams of the corset, which our table has calculated. So, the side part of the corset front consists of the side corset piece and the side cup piece. Let's work with these patterns. So, I see negative 0.5 centimeters in the side front seam column. Thus, I need to shift the side cuts of the front patterns by 0.5 centimeters to reduce them. I shift the side seam of the side front pattern by 0.5 centimeters inward, trying to keep it parallel to the initial side line. Please note that the upper point of the side seam is also shifted. This point is about 0.2 centimeters higher than the initial one. I make the smooth upper cut on the side front pattern. All notches remain in their places. Now, when we know how the main pattern is altered, we can alter seam allowance on the side seam of this piece. We need to shift by 0.5 centimeters inward or to reduce it and to move it a bit higher. Due to the straight bottom, this shift is parallel and the bottom remains unaltered. I make similar actions with the side seam of the cup pattern. I shift it inwards by 0.5 centimeters. I draw the new lines. Please note that the new armhole is rather far from the initial line. Although I said I will make the final corrections of the new side lines later when I work with the clip measurement. And it is not difficult to shift its side seam allowance by 0.5 centimeters. To continue with the cup patterns, we should first get back to our table and check the column Calculations for Additional Measurements. I continue working with the side cup pattern. To alter this pattern after the client, I should consider the alterations calculated by the table in two measurements, clip toward top of cup and clip toward arm eye. The table shows negative 1.5 centimeters in the line clip toward arm eye. It means that the distance from the bust center to the middle of the armhole should be reduced by 1.5 centimeters. I measure 1.5 centimeters inward from the armhole and draw the beginning of the new armhole. Clip to top of cup or to corner should be also reduced by 1.5 centimeters according to the calculation. In other words, the corner of the side cup piece should be lowered by 1.5 centimeters as the initial cup is too big for my client. I move the corner down by 1.5 centimeters at the same time and find the new position of the top corner of the cup on the intersection. I draw the new lines of the side cup piece with and without seam allowance.
Now, let's get to the central cup pattern. If I move the upper corner down by 1.5 cm on the side pattern, I will need to move down the corner on the central cup pattern by 1.5 cm. The table shows that clip to the center is reduced by 1 cm. I move along the center down by 1 cm. Thus, the corner of the neckline is lowered by 1.5 cm and the center of the neckline by 1 cm. I connect these points with a smooth line and get a beautiful boat neck for my client. Please note that as a result of alterations, the bust dart becomes deeper a bit, just by several millimeters. It means that for smaller cups, the bust dart gets bigger and the cup fitting will be better. I draw the new pattern of the central cup piece with and without seam allowance. The analysis showed that the cup for my client increased in the center and decreased in the height. At the same time, the curve is deeper, so the fit will be better. I outline the new lines of the side cup piece. As for the alterations on the cup patterns without seam allowance, I recommend to make them on the light box using our new patterns for better accuracy. It is time to deal with the front curves. Check the column Front Curves Below Waist in the table for alterations to be made in the curves of the initial pattern. The alterations are made on two front patterns, side and central, on both sides. According to the calculations, I remove 0.3 cm in the curves in the waistline and add 0.3 cm in the abdominal line inward 4 cm from the waist. I draw the new curves. My corset does not reach the hip line. However, I included the curve alteration in this line as you might need it in your particular case. I outline the new lines on the front patterns. Please note that we need to work more with these patterns in the waistline. I move to the side and central patterns of the corset back. According to the table, I need to alter the side seam and back curves. The side seam should be shifted by 2 cm inward. I draw the new side seam parallel to the initial line. It is very important that the height of the new seam is equal to the initial one. I remind everyone, especially novices, 
It is very important. One more important note. Now I change the pattern, proposing to make a high straight back. If I want to make other shapes of the corset back, for example, as shown with the blue lines, you need to remember that the seam allowance line should be shifted to the side cut. In no case can you shorten this line. If you do so, you will cut a piece of the side seam. I make alterations in the back curves on the central and side pieces. According to the calculations, I remove 0.5 centimeters along the bust and under bust lines. 0.3 centimeters along the waistline and add 0.3 centimeters in the abdominal line. I draw the new curves. However, we are not done yet with the alteration of the initial patterns. We have already made alterations on the back patterns, but there are still some measurements which we need to consider later. Let's get back to the table. We see in the column Calculation for Additional Measurements that the initial value of distance from nipple to underbust equal to 6.5 centimeters for my client was reduced by 0.5 centimeters. I will certainly show what to do in such a case. However, alteration by 0.5 centimeters won't be really noticeable. So it is up to you whether to remove 0.5 centimeters or to leave it as is. I made this alteration on the central cup pattern. The curve of the cup becomes deeper and the cup gets slightly rounded. I would like to warn you straight away. You need to be very careful with this alteration. Here is the explanation. Our cup should perfectly fit the cradle on the central front of the corset. In order to preserve the perfect fit of the cup, which is provided in the initial pattern, the length of the sewing line to the cradle should not be altered. When I enter this alteration and make the cup slightly rounded, I made the cup smaller and certainly changed this length. Thus, I will decrease the cup rounding as these several millimeters will not influence the cup shape, but they can spoil its fit. You can see that I round the cup very moderately for about half value indicated in the table. In a similar way on the side cup pattern, I remove 0.5 centimeters in the underbust line first. And then I make the cup rounding less. I draw new lines with and without seam allowance.
we work with the following measurement, distance from bust to waist. The table shows I need to decrease this distance by one centimeter. Please note that there is the situation when we need to shift the pattern along the waistline. For that, we need to cut all patterns along the waistline and to make them smaller by one centimeter. I cut the central front pattern along the waist. Draw the new line one centimeter above the initial line and glue two halves together. In a similar way, I reduce by one centimeter the side front pattern. I correct the curves on the front patterns. I reduce the back patterns by one centimeter. When I change the length of all patterns by one centimeter, I will check how the side height changed on the altered pattern versus the initial pattern. The calculation shows that the side height for my client is two centimeters shorter than the initial pattern, 17 centimeters according to the measurements of my client, and 19 centimeters in the initial pattern. I reduced all patterns along the waistline by one centimeter, so the side height is also reduced by one centimeter. I analyze the situation and decide that 18 centimeters is good enough for this back shape. The measurement side height of 17 centimeters for my client was considered for an open back with a smooth transition to the cups. On the paper patterns, such smooth transition can be achieved when the side height is 18 centimeters. So I decided to keep the side height of 18 centimeters.